Hey everyone, this is John. I thought I would let you know what's going on with me. I haven't posted a video in quite some time, even though I've been out detecting. Um, most of the stuff I've had going on has been health stuff, all related to my right knee. I had it looked at by an orthopedic surgeon and had an MRI. And there's torn meniscus and there's torn cartilage. I'm getting physical therapy right now. Really loud truck going by. I'm getting therapy right now for um, six to eight weeks. And the bottom line is the only way to fix this condition is going to be uh, total knee replacement. So I'm going to put it off as long as I can. Uh, it is making it difficult for me to detect, I'll be honest with you there. But I'm going to keep doing it. So I've been out, um, had some good finds, got some silver, got a few artifacts, a uh, ton of clad. I just, I don't know what's going on with me. I just got lazy and haven't taken my camera out with me. Um, that's all I can say and I apologize for that. I need to improve on that. I always had it with me before and even though the videos weren't the best at least it showed when I found something so I'll try to get that going again but uh, I'm going to show you what's been going on in front of my house and where I found some of these finds. Bear with me. Okay this is my yard in front of my yard and as you can see all the sidewalk got ripped up, trees got cut down. Um, so I've been detecting in this area and other areas within our village. I'm swinging around slowly for you, but it goes on for a long ways. So now I'm going to take you in the garage and show you some of my finds. All right, here's some of the finds. I've really never used this camera. It's a new camera, so I'm not sure how it's going to zoom in or how close I'll be able to get to anything. But I'll show you what I got. And this is probably over the last three weeks or so. Over here you can see I've got a huge pile of clad. There's probably got to be at least $10 there. Over here, I've got some artifacts, or what I'll call artifacts. I found this pen with this wand and this pair of um, shoes, and I'm assuming this is Wizard of Oz related. I think it is. I found this blue oval board. An old fishing lure minus the uh, treble hook. This little thing, whatever it is, I'm not sure what it is. Some kind of jewelry it looks like. A fingernail file. Oops. A dog bone. A frame from a pocket watch. An Osmobile key fob. This makeup compact. I can't find any markings. I am going to open it up and see what's inside after I do this video and I'll show you that. I did find a, whoops, where is it at? Master lock and key. This prayer token. No, oh, keep losing stuff here. 
Got a pair of hands praying, and it's got an inscription on the other side. Upside down inscription. And this is a Saginaw Savings Token. I think it's worth 50 cents if you deposit it in a savings account. This token is really hard to see, but it's a White House token. And all it has on it is the year that the uh, cornerstone was laid. And on the other side, um, says that it was burned in 1814 by the British. Got a couple of keys. I'm swing over here. Found this little uh, copper end cap or whatever with an E on it. Bring you this way. The Sacagawea coin, the 57 nickel. I found this uh, crotal bell where they tore out the sidewalk, and it's still, let me see if I can get it, still has the dinger in it. I was really glad to have that. That's probably the Nicest one I've ever found. No cracks or anything. And over here are my coins. I found this V nickel, 1905 V nickel. That was yesterday with the Crotal Bell. A silver 53 Washington, a 40 Washington. Um, this in the center of your screen. I found down by the pizzeria where they tore the sidewalk out. I thought I had a real at first. It's, I did make it with a shovel, but I didn't put all the other damages on it. It's a 1874 uh, Queen Victoria. It's a 25 cent Canadian coin. The back side is really dark. And I don't know, I'll try to zoom. I don't know if you'll be able to see the date or not. Sorry I'm moving so much. I don't think you'll be able to. When I tilt it just right, I can see the date. Plus I have one of those little coin microscopes and I can see it on there. Also got an 1891 Indian. And out in front of my neighbor's house, I got an 1868 two cent piece. And then down here, I got a slew of wheat cents. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 20, 26 wheat cents. Some are early. Uh, the earliest one that I recall seeing was a 1911. Quite a few from the 20s. Um, so overall, I've been getting out and finding stuff and I just wanted to get a video made so I can get all this stuff put away. And I will take my camera out with me so you can see what else I come upon as they're ripping out these sidewalks and putting in this new pipeline. So everything's good. Thanks for viewing. I hope to see you all again real soon. Take care and have a really safe and happy 4th of July.